Raising awareness on the most pressing environmental issues of our time is important for change and growth. This results in creating an innovative working environment for productivity and growth. Ghana Climate Innovation Center addresses climate change through business interventions and adapted operations of SMEs, including women-led SMEs. My name is Amy Beth Aku Kwanson. I am an Ashesi graduate, uh, class of 2007. The name of my business is Kawamoka Coffee Company Limited. It's a social enterprise coffee company that was set up for three main things. One was to put Ghana coffee on the map. A lot of people don't know that Ghana has coffee and good coffee at that. So one of the main things of Kawamoka is to introduce or reintroduce Ghana coffee to the global market and to support our farmer network with sustainable farming practices. Institute of Chessie University. Currently, the work of the GCIC is being funded by Global Affairs Canada, and we're very grateful to them for supporting our work over the four year period 2021 to 2025. What drives us really is the fact that we know that we are contributing to something greater to the extent that we are helping save the environment for future generations, to the extent that we are helping solve challenges that has to do with our very survival because we now have climate change disrupting areas that hitherto was used for the cultivation of fruit, that it is destroying areas that hitherto was being inhabited by human beings, and that it is destroying the forest which remain a critical resource for the Ghanaian people and for the people of the world. And so knowing on a daily basis that we are supporting enterprises who are mitigating and adapting to climate change through the solutions that they proffer really is what really drives us on a daily basis to be able to do the work that we do here at the Ghana Climate Innovation Center. So uh, there are three things. Uh, the first one is to look at climate change as an opportunity, not only as a challenge, as an opportunity for a more sustainable and equitable growth. Because at the end of the day, climate action, as identified in the report, is uh, our actions to foster uh, better development. So this is what really drives me, um, how we can have um, a country, how we can have a people that are not depleting economic you know, environmental resources, which are actually economic resources, but we're working with it um, um, to grow and develop our economy. We're working with it to create green jobs. We're working with it to plan a healthier future because environmental issues are also health issues, right? So we're dealing with a whole range of issues at the Ghana Climate Innovation Centre, even issues around public policy and influencing public policy so that we, we have statutes and policies that are climate smart, right? So our work encompasses all of that. Storytelling, storytelling for a green economy, policy advocacy for a green economy, and entrepreneurship training for a green economy. The second thing that Kawamoka does is to challenge the African narrative around sending raw material. So we have our roastery, which you will see behind us, um, that where we roast our coffee. So we turn it from the green coffee into the roasted coffee that we know as the drink coffee. And uh, we package and retail. So you'd find us in pretty much all the supermarkets in Ghana. We also do a bit of global export. So you'll find us in some supermarkets in the US um, as well. The third thing that we do is we're very passionate about women. So we're passionate about including women in the coffee value chain and ensuring that there's economic inclusion and they're also able to make a living wage from the coffee that they farm. Raising awareness on the most pressing environmental issues of our time is important for change and growth. This results in creating an innovative working environment for productivity and growth. Ghana Climate Innovation Center 
addresses climate change through business interventions and adapted operations of SMEs, including women-led SMEs. This number of businesses have generated a total of $3.4 million in revenues since 2017. Out of these, really, they have also been able to, you know, raise early stage and growth stage financing of not less than or of almost two million dollars. And the center has supported these enterprises with up to about 2.4 million dollars in grants. The values or the core tenets of Ashesi University is citizenship, scholarship, leadership. So a big part of that is entrepreneurship and you'll find that there are a lot of entrepreneurs that are coming out of Ghana. We're really leading the entrepreneurial space in Ghana, if I may say so myself. Living in Kenya, seeing how the coffee industry in Kenya had blossomed, how there was an influx of cafes that had grown, particularly Java and Nairobi, and also seeing all the rose trees that had come up. I was inspired to revisit my dream of having a coffee company um, in Ghana. Uh, so the biggest barrier I would say is was you know just starting to move past all the thinking and the planning and just put your foot forward so that you can actually start something. The second difficulty is one that you hear from all entrepreneurs and that's always access to finance, especially um, being on the continent, Africa, and access to you know, various funding opportunities. So that was um, another difficulty. I, I was fortunate to get initial funding from the Tony Elumelu Foundation, so that really helped. But I must say that my first point of funding was customers. Then the third um, difficulty would also be just access to mentorship and um, opportunities to learn how to do business right so that we avoid some pitfalls that the more experienced people have already experienced. GCIC challenges the mindset of its entrepreneurs, cultivating and strengthening their focus on sustainable commercial success, but also their contribution to long-term implications of the activity in Ghana, Africa, and the world. We are also happy to say that we are supporting the Ghanaian economy in the creation of jobs, which is critical because of the mass unemployment situation we have in Ghana, but also across the developing world generally. And through our enterprises, more than 1,300 jobs have been delivered to the Ghanaian youth since the incubator received its badge of enterprises in 2017. For the year ahead, I mean, we, are, we take entrepreneurs in cohort by cohort. Between now and 2025, we would have incubated 240 entrepreneurs from across Ghana, from you know, across you know, all the 16 regions, and half of those entrepreneurs will be women. So we're very gender sensitive, and they know, there's no regional bias. We will be incubating enterprises from five sectors, agriculture, domestic waste management, energy efficiency, solar power. Uh, which will create a better environment uh, for business to contribute to, to climate action. And this can be done through different policy actions, for example, uh, reviewing the incentive uh, policies based on green outcomes. Uh, what is very important also for the private sector is to develop the green taxonomy, a green financial strategy for, uh, for the sector, including for the financial sector. We are engaging government to be able to explore the possibilities of seeing how fiscal policy can be leveraged to support green enterprises with some of the challenges that they face, because these are businesses that face consequential problems, unique to them because of the kinds of businesses that they do. And the least government can do 
is leverage its power of fiscal policy through incentives to be able to create that environment that allows them to thrive. Ghana Climate Innovation Center has provided support to transformative entrepreneurs who have innovative solutions and businesses that aid in the mitigation or adaptation of climate change. Some of the benefits from the Ghana Climate Innovation Center we've received is with our green grader. Um, so that speaks to good mechanization processes. It's going to be installed in uh, the community where we farm. So it also speaks to value addition at origin. At this point, we're looking at employment for the youth in agriculture. And it's good to encourage them to not only farm, but to understand that there are a lot of jobs along the value chain. Solar interventions from GCIC have enabled uninterrupted production. So we have one of the things we do at Kawamoka is to infuse West African flavors in our coffee. So in addition to our dark roast and our medium roast, we also do a precursor coffee. We have a ginger coffee, we have lemon, we have moringa, we have dawa dawa. And the presence of these mechanizations now mean that whereas we could have done 200 packs in a day, we're able to double that productivity and ensure that we can even expand to more terrains. So that's a very positive one. And we're expanding while reducing our electricity bill because now we have solar, which is based on um, the sun, which we have in abundance in Africa, thankfully. And we're able to utilize that to increase productivity but lower costs. A major challenge in coffee production is the high level of emissions recorded from the roastery process. Accordingly, Kawamoka was supported to acquire a Vots eco filter machine for turning dirty, obnoxious, and unhealthy air from the roastery into a clean and safe air. Our packaging is also preferred by environmentally friendly people because they recognize our brown packaging, which is from recycled paper, and they also recognize the valve and the tin tie, which allow you to keep your coffee fresh. So we are also working on discouraging the single use of packaging. So we have um, tins that you can then put your coffee in as well once you purchase. Inspiration from GCIC has contributed massively to the growth in the entrepreneurial sector. Organizations like G GCIC are very important uh, uh, for Ghana because they create um, the new leadership uh, that will drive the country through this, this challenge. They create opportunity for new entrepreneurs uh, through training or to, through access to finance. And, uh, um, they, they are enabling uh, this transition to different systems uh, that are more efficient. So I would say that the year ahead for the Ghana Climate Innovation Centre um, is very exciting. Um, there is a lot of work to be done and um, we look forward to working with all of the um, enterprises that will enter the um, incubator in the next and subsequent um, cohorts and also to you know, continue to support those in our alumni community to ensure that their work actually is, and the impact that they create is, um, is, is, is known and their success stories are told. Mm -hmm.